Hello and welcome to tutorial number 20. Today we'll be taking a little break and take a look at the CB Online module. Um, you've seen it here on my tutorial page here and since somebody's logged in I see the username actually the formatted name of the logged in person since it's picking up the gender symbol here also. Uh, but the new CB Online module in Community Builder 2.0 does a lot more. So I'm going to be spending some time going through some of the new functionality that this module has. So let me just close my field, go to my module manager. And during install, it was installed here once and let me just edit it and take a look so we'll see there's something here called a display mode that it's currently set to online users and pretext post text fields the limit here is the number of online users it will show so well the pretext basically is some text just before how about something like click on user name to see the users sorry the users profile page for example if I save this and go to the front end and refresh here's the little message here that pops up here so it's kind of obvious what you can do some of the things you can do. But you'll see here the display mode. There's so much more settings here. Now I'm not going to change the setting in this instance of the module. What I'm going to do is close this and create a new instance. Find Community Builder Online module here and call this CB Online let's just select latest visitors for example well actually let's do something a little better uh, user census the last one and let's just put this in parentheses so we know user census I'm not touching anything else I'm just going to publish it in my position 7 for the module for the Joomla template and make sure that it appears on all pages and let's just save this let's go to the front end do a refresh up oh, we'll see we have cb online user census it shows a total number of users on my site the last user with a link online users a number how many signed up today this week this month this year it's kind of cool. Let's go and do another another test here. Let's do another instance. Community Builder Online Module. This time, let's look at uh, online statistics. Uh, let's see what this does. CB Online, in parentheses, statistics. Yep, wrong. Put it in position 7 again. Let's save it. Do a refresh. We'll see we have the statistics module saying there's one user online, 10 users offline, and there's five guest sessions. That's the second. Actually, it's the third uh, instance of the CB Online module. Let's do a fourth one. CB online module instead of uh, let's do it's kind of obvious what these are from the from the wordings now but let's just do the latest registrations CB online latest registrations shall I select the position 7 Save and close. Refresh. 
user statistics, latest registrations. It has a list of users that registered the latest ones with links. Nice. Now, let's go and look at our CB Online instance, the user census instance. So let's see, CB, this one here. <coughs> see what else we can do here. Uh, statistics and census tab sounds interesting. Label display, I can actually have icons and text. Let's just put text and icons, save, and refresh, see what happens. There we go. We see all these icons here. Neat. So there's a lot. You can explore other options here. The sorting, how we're going to sort the users and so on. Permissions and so on. So basically, the new CB Online module is basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven modules built in since there are seven different settings here. So it's really worth exploring and playing with this to see how it fits with your website. Okay, thanks for listening. Till we talk again, bye-bye.